you're able to dominate with SMGs, LMGs, and ARs, but somehow you continue to go negative with the sniper rifle. Sniping for dummies. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, the survey results indicate that a significant portion of you guys are average at best with the sniper rifle. Some are even below average, and let's be honest, some of you just downright suck. In this series, I'll break down everything I've learned in my journey to become a better sniper, starting with today's episode where we'll create the best class loadout for improving at sniping. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode, and let's begin your journey to becoming the best sniper in the world. The perfect class loadout for learning to become a better sniper begins by selecting the most forgiving sniper rifle in the game. The LW3 Tundra is a high damage bolt action sniper rifle which guarantees a one shot kill anywhere on the head, chest or shoulders. The Tundra offers the largest one hit kill zone in the sniper rifle class and will provide the largest margin of error as we try to improve our sniping skills. We'll use our attachment slots to build a user friendly, simple to understand weapon which allows us to improve at the fastest possible rate. We'll start in the muzzle category. The sound moderator reduces firing acoustics and eliminates flash to improve position concealment. Using the suppressor attachment will allow us to remain off radar when firing and reduce the likelihood of being located by nearby enemies. As a result, this will give us more time in power positions while we hone our skills. Our next attachment will improve our chances of hitting long range targets. The 28.2 inch extended barrel is a fluted chrome lined barrel which improves bullet speed. The 25% boost to bullet velocity will offset the reduced velocity from the suppressor and will reduce bullet drop as well as reduce the distance we'll need to lead moving targets, simplifying the learning process. Up next, we'll choose from the underbarrel category. The infiltrator grip is a short polymer foregrip for improved combat maneuverability. The 5% increase to our movement speed will allow us to be a more difficult target while also allowing faster movement while aiming down sight. Next up, we'll improve our relatively low magazine capacity. The 7 round mag is an extended magazine which holds 7 rounds of ammunition. The increased ammo capacity will allow us to take full advantage of power positions without being interrupted by an untimely reload. Finally, from the stock category, the tactical stock is a lightweight cheek rest for increased aim down sight movement speed. The tactical stock will provide a 25% boost to our ADS movement speed, allowing us to continue to lock down lines of sight without sacrificing mobility. For a secondary, the 1911's high damage and fast weapon swap time will be perfect for cleaning up enemies in close quarters. In the lethal equipment category, the Molotov will block enemy lanes, providing valuable time to reposition or complete an untimely reload. For tactical, the smoke grenade will be a perfect choice. Reducing our exposure from multiple enemy lines of sight will allow us to focus our attention on our primary sniping lane. For field upgrade, the gas mine won't induce self damage and can be placed nearby to alert us to a flanking enemy. Our perk loadout begins with the perk greed wildcard, which will allow two perks from each tier. In tier one, the essential flak jacket tack mask combo 
will protect us from enemy grenades and tacticals which inevitably come from downed enemies seeking the revenge kill. In Tier 2, Gearhead will reduce field upgrade recharge time by 25% and Quartermaster will provide a never-ending supply of lethal and tactical equipment, increasing the chances of an extended kill streak. In Tier 3, a powerful combination of stealth and awareness, Spycraft will provide immunity to counter spy planes and jammers and Ninja will reduce our footstep volume, reducing the likelihood that we are detected as we reposition. That's our loadout, a sniper class build designed to be as forgiving as possible, perfectly suited for improving our abilities with the sniper rifle. Regardless of class loadout, it's important to stay consistent with your attachments at least while learning. This improves muscle memory and creates consistency. Becoming an effective sniper is challenging but can also be incredibly rewarding. Tune in next time when we'll be covering the sniper playstyle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.